just rolled over my foot. I literally can't feel my foot. Well, that's not how I planned it. <laughs> All right, it's time to tell a novelty. Novel. Novelty. Novelty. It's time to tell a story. Let's get this show on the road, all right? My story begins uh, about 5, 6.30ish, around 6.30, you know, the sunset's going down, it's painting a nice picture in the, in the sky, uh, starting to get dark out, you know. So, my job, what I do at the moment, okay, it's not nothing permanent all right but I I'm a security guard I know I look I look pretty security guard yes I'm a security guard for a company not important who not important what it's it's important what happened yesterday about 6 30 p.m. yes this story is it's hot it's hot off the press I am telling you this less than 24 hours after it happened because I didn't I didn't want to leave out any of the juicy details put yourself in my shoes outside of a store just minding your own business you know making sure nobody's uh stealing or you know pretty pretty much stealing okay when out of nowhere a light blue PT cruiser comes rolling up in the parking lot, passes all the empty parking spaces, comes up right in front of you, and instead of going parallel with the lines, he goes at a nice uh, 45 degrees. You know those people that, that like throw it in park before they're even stopped? Yeah, the front fender was gone. All right, you could see the radiator. I think there was like mis mismatched rims, the whole shebang. The whole shebang, not half, just the whole shebang. He, he's not even handicapped. He pops right out of his car. Picture a man, late 60s, glasses more crooked than his parking, hair sticking up in the back, a uh, fanny pack, wearing, wearing the, you know, the, the tourist mojo. He's got the, the flower shirt going on and the khakis. And instead of going to the store, he pops out, not handicapped, does a 45 degree straight to me. And he pops the magic question. Hey, you. You're talking to me? Yeah, you. Do you play guitar? Uh. You look like a guitar guy. And mind you, I didn't know who this guy was. I obviously do play guitar, but uh, I said no. I panicked. I'm like, I don't know this guy. He doesn't know me. We don't have that connection going on. No, 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 I don't. Which leads him to say, No, perfect. He continues to open the back seat door of his car. All right. He opens it up. He gets something out. I don't know what it is. Until he, he's walking around the side of his car and, and, and I see what he's holding. He's holding a box. Well, I don't know about yay wide, you know, pretty, pretty tall. Okay, looks like there could be a guitar in there. You know, I'm thinking, is this guy, is he gonna give me a guitar? Is he gonna give me a lesson, or is he gonna give me a concert or something? I don't know what's gonna happen. And he walks up to me, holding this box in his hand, and he says, "Do you play air guitar?" I grab the box with one hand. There's nothing in there. And then he says, you know, I got a, I got a band. We'd love for you to be part of the band. There's 16 people in my band. It sounds like two. I, I don't, I don't want to be in your band. I'm sorry. Open the box. No, I'm not, I'm not opening your box. Oh, come on. 
Come on, open the box. No, no way. No. Let's give it a little peek. Come on. No. What's the hassle? Open the box. I'm not opening the box. Trust me. Open the box. Look at it. It's all taped up. That tape won't rip itself, huh? I'm not opening the box. I would have to go get, you know, something to cut the tape just to find an empty box inside. I'm not opening the box. Once he realized I wasn't going to open the box, he starts lecturing me on how to play air guitar. I, I know what it is. You, you don't know how to play air guitar, do you? The secret is you hum the notes. You hum the notes. Open the box. Open the box. Dude, I'm not going to be in your band, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to be in your band. Okay, you know, I had I had to I had to lay the lay the foot down a little bit, you know. This guy was distracting me from nothing. But nothing is my job. So he got the picture, he yanks his box back. <laughs> he walks away, shrugging his shoulders. Like I'm the I'm the one that did something wrong. Like I was the weird one. Like I was the guy parked in a in a handicap spot when I wasn't even handicapped. That's the way he was looking at me. And once again, there is absolutely no point to the story but to just inform you of uh you know, it's a it's a scary world out there. And and who knows what would have happened if I if I actually told him I play guitar. I don't know. So he gets back in his car and uh, and drives away to find his his next victim. I seriously need to work on my endings. Yeah. <laughs>